okay guys now in this whole video series we'll be looking for CSI and net questions remember if you follow my uh, instructions about how to crack CSI and net we have already talked before that uh, how to solve how to look for the approaches to solve the different group of CSI and net now in this video will be in this video series will be majorly focusing on uh, the group uh, uh, group B of CSI and net remember group B is uh, one of the important very very important uh, region and and in this part CSI and net we are going to solve different different uh, topics I mean in the first uh, few videos we've already talked about which are the topics that are important for group B and C but in this series of videos we'll be talking about those uh, those topics and questions especially we'll be analyzing the questions and the type of questions that are there so in this case we'll be talking about uh, the group B and among group B we're talking about biochemistry biochemistry we are talking about biochemistry problems now in this case what we can see in the biochemistry problem that the precursor for so let's look at the first question uh, or the type of question now remember we I'm not talking about the uh, probable questions that are going to come I'm talking about some variations of the questions and the type of questions so please focus on the type of question that I'm talking not exactly on the questions because questions can uh, can be anything they can't ask you these questions they can ask you these questions or many other questions I'm just listing two or three questions every time now in this case I want you to focus on the type of questions that I'm dealing now in the first question is the precursor for amino acid proline is that's the question the precursor for amino acid proline now the type of this question uh, that can come into your mind is that it's a direct question direct questions means there is no way if you don't know the answer for it there's no way you can get it because that's not conceptual it's completely memorizing question you have to know what is the correct answer and there should be only one option for that now in this case the precursor for amino acid proline there's no other way to solve this no other concept to apply the simple answer so this is a direct direct question in this case direct memorizing this is the type of category that I'm talking about DM type or direct memorizing type of question and here you go the answer for these questions as I know uh, because I've already uh, know all these answers in this case the answer is alpha ketoglutarate because you know pro proline is formed from alpha ketoglutarate so in this case option 4 which is alpha ketoglutarate is going to be the correct answer right so that's it the option here is option number 4 now let's move on to the next question now which cycle has been used in heterolactic fermentation now for this for this question this is not a direct type though it's kind of direct but it's not all that memorizing because what is this you can apply your knowledge because remember heterolactic fermentation you need to know this term heterolactic fermentation you know lactic acid fermentation can be of two different types homolactic fermentation and heterolactic fermentation heterolactic fermentation give rise to two different type of products homolactic fermentation give us same uh, type of products right that's the that's the actual thing so you need to know the term that they are giving us right so that's that's what the first thing to solve this this question right so it's a term type plus memorizing right so it's a so let me write it's a it's a term memorizing term memorizing type of or TM type of questions so please look for this this uh, this short forms because I'm going to use these short forms in future videos okay so so in this case uh, so that so if you look at the heterofermentic process that M denma dow drop process entna dow drop phospho uh, phosphoketolase pathway pentose phosphate pathway and glyco uh, cyclate pathway so these are the four different things among them we know that heterolactic fermentation entna dow drop is not obviously this one this phosphoketolase pathway is the only pathway that are giving us hetero or different types of product so in this case uh, the option two is the correct answer but remember to get this answer you need to memorize things but along with that you need to look for some term and here the term is heterolactic fermentation okay so once it's done let's move on to the third type of question the third type of question that we are having here is among the following which enzyme used NAD as cofactor now that's that's another question that for this you need to have again some understanding of uh, why NAD NAD is a cofactor for many different enzymes right so you can use your uh, kind of uh, personal knowledge uh, to apply for this particular type of question but you need to look for 
we know that uh, normally NAD and use of NADPH will vary from time to time right and from this this is also kind of memorizing but it's also slight application of your knowledge so I, I can categorize it is a knowledge knowledge memorizing knowledge memorizing type or KM type of question okay so KM type of question now among them we know that uh, normally transferase enzymes won't require this NAD in this case as a cofactor normal NAD because NADPH in different thing right so NAD is not the same thing so we can exclude these two things out from here right and which remains is the histone demethylase histone deacetylase now whenever we're talking about acetylase and deacetylase thing that thing is obviously involved in the NAD transfer and the use of NAD as a cofactor so in this case obviously histone deacetylase is a type of enzyme that requires NAD as a cofactor right now in this case obviously we need to memorize this thing that which or one of it is the correct answer that not that much area to uh, use our concept but it's slightly knowledgeable but you need to know that what is the importance of what are the type of reactions what are the type of enzymes that require NAD as a cofactor once you know that you can imply that to get rid of other options and stick to a correct answer now in this case the correct answer is C or histone deacetylase right so that's it now let's move on to the fourth kind and in this case is under what thermodynamically condition reaction would be spontaneous now this is a type of question that will not test your memorizing power it will test your knowledge it will test your concept so it is it is conceptual question it's not any kind of memorizing it's completely conceptual once you know what is H what is S H is uh, the en enth enthalpy of, of a reaction del, del, del H is the change in enthalpy del S is the change in entropy we know entropy if there is a high entropy that means uh, the reaction always reaction favors higher entropy right because entropy is always increasing in different places right so in this case obviously which is the correct thing for 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 us so completely based on concept now in this case it's telling us the change in enthalpy will be greater than zero and entropy will be greater than zero these two things can't be same type or same side because equaling of these things won't give us the correct thing uh, to have right so this we can exclude this one out the second thing again those things are going opposite Le low enthalpy or negative enthalpy positive entropy it's, it's not uh, scientifically possible so this thing is also excluded third thing again both of them are negative it's not that much uh, also possible but what we know about the relation of enthalpy and entropy with the spontaneity we also want to remember slight amount of things so again memorizing thing slightly coming so conceptual memorizing conceptual memorizing because remember all most of the questions that are being placed in the group B are kind of memorizing so I am just categorizing according to their type of memorizing and in this case mostly conceptual but still memorizing because no in this case uh, using enthalpy and entropy if we need to derive a formula that give us the spontaneity 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 of a reaction that gives us the equation of Gibbs right now in this case but we get the equation the equation is already suggesting us the values the values is del H greater than T del S now this is the only value that is giving us uh, the correct answer so in this case option 4 is going to be the correct answer so you need to memorize a little amount of uh, thing here but still it is kind of conceptual so what we have encountered four different types of questions direct memorizing or DM term memorizing or TM knowledge memorizing or KM and then the conceptual memorizing or CM so these are the four different types of memorizing questions that you are going to attend in the group B of the CSI and net question paper so be sure that what you are doing you need to have a little knowledge of your terms that are using of uh, the slight concepts that you are using right so that's it guys thank you